In this video we are going to talk about RAM and how does a RAM work. But at first, please take a second and subscribe to my channel, it will definitely help me in my future videos. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. RAM is a common physical hardware component found in electronic devices, including desktop computers, laptops, tablets, game consoles, and smartphones that temporarily stores data that your computer is currently using. Without RAM, doing just about anything on any system would be much, much slower. Not having enough RAM for the application or game you're trying to run can bring things to a crawl or even prevent them from running. In tablets and smartphones, RAM is typically integrated into the device and cannot be removed. As you know, we have many types of RAM, and they include a static RAM, dynamic RAM, synchronous dynamic RAM, single data rate synchronous dynamic RAM, double data rate synchronous dynamic RAM, graphics double data rate synchronous dynamic RAM. Nowadays, most systems are equipped with a DDR4 RAM. Typical DDR4 memory runs between 2133 and 3000 MHz, but there are some that can run upwards of 4866 MHz for the fastest kits available. You'll see these marketed as DDR4 2133 or similar, and sometimes with a confusing PC label. The number following PC is simply the megahertz speed multiplied by 8 and then rounded. For example, you might see it listed as DDR4 2133 PC4 17000. As you saw, there are many types of RAM, but the main types are static RAM known as SRAM and dynamic RAM known as DRAM. In SRAM, a bit of data is stored using the state of 6 transistor memory cell, typically using 6 MOSFETs, known as metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors. And DRAM stores a bit of data using a transistor and capacitor pair, which together comprise a DRAM cell. SRAM is faster but more expensive to produce than DRAM, which is why DRAM is more prevalent in today's devices. However, SRAM is sometimes seen in small various internal computer parts, like the CPU and as a hard drive cache memory. Another common term, especially in the video game space, is VRAM or Video RAM. VRAM is currently used to denote memory on the graphics card. In game consoles, it can also reference system memory, but in either case, it's to do with the memory that it's reserved exclusively for the GPU. It's most commonly referred as graphics DDR or GDDR, usually with a generational designation like GDDR6. RAM is measured by how many cycles per second it can perform. If a RAM is rated at 3200 MHz, it performs 3.2 billion cycles per second. The more cycles your RAM can perform per second, translates to how much data can be stored and read. When a device has sufficient RAM, several programs can run simultaneously without any slowdown. When a device uses close to 100% of the available RAM, memory must be swapped between applications, which may cause a noticeable slowdown. Therefore, additional RAM allows a computer to work with more information at the same time which usually has a considerable effect on total system performance. But can we say more RAM will speed up your PC? Well, actually the answer is no. When your PC runs out of RAM to use, for example opening multiple programs or running them at once, the PC will start to save the data on the hard drive that is called a page file, and that is when the speed and the performance of your PC will fall. But an average PC user will not need a RAM more than 8GB. The only reason that you will need more RAM is when you are multitasking or some programs that demand on higher RAM, like video editing or playing video games. RAM is essentially your device's short-term memory. Every time you turn on your PC, it temporarily stores everything that runs on your PC. But RAM doesn't remember everything forever. And remember, if your PC loses power, your RAM forgets everything. And when the device is restarted, the operating system and applications load fresh data into the system memory. This is why none of your programs or files are still open when you turn your computer back on. And it is why restarting a computer often fixes problems. And it's also why we need storage systems like hard drives and SSDs, which actually hold our information when you turn the system off. 
RAMs are similar to our PCs, HDDs and SSDs. They both store data, but RAM stores data temporarily for easy access and as we all know, RAMs have lower capacity and much much faster performance than HDDs or SSDs. Because in a RAM the data is accessed randomly, but in a hard drive a data is accessed sequentially and that is why RAM is much much faster than a hard drive. In the end, we can say that too little RAM can lead to sluggish performance, although smaller devices like tablets and smartphones don't need that much RAM as a high-end gaming desktop. However, installing massive amount of RAM or using the highest megahertz rating doesn't mean your device will run blazingly fast. Thank you so much for watching and I hope now you can make better decisions while buying a RAM and don't forget to subscribe, like and share your thoughts down below in the comment section. Stay tuned for our next videos and hope to see you soon. Peace.